created in the 1930s, Superman was a unique character who countless people today consider him for creating the superhero genre. One of the things that Superman introduced to superheroes was a costume. Not just any other costume. He had one with a symbol. Superman's symbol is one of the most iconic symbols in all of comic book history. But in Action Comics issue 1, his first appearance, his symbol was very different. My name is Joshua C, and today I'm going to be explaining what, when, and why changes were made to Superman's emblem that led to the one we have today. Before we start, I would like to note that we're not going to be including any other Superman from another universe. We're just going to focus on the Superman that DC was focusing on at the time. Also, I'm pretty sure there's some wrong information in this video, so please feel free to correct me in the comments. Anyway, let's begin. During the designing of Superman, Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster decided to put something on Superman's chest, and they chose to put the letter S in it. Then, in 1938, Action Comics Issue 1 was published, and on the cover was Superman, and along came his logo. And as you can see, it's very different to the one we all know and love today. This symbol resembled the shape of a police badge, but it actually was an inspiration for another character's shield. Oh, by the way, that symbol would only appear on the cover because inside Action Comics issue 1, the symbol was more of a triangle than a police badge. In the following issues of Action Comics, Superman did not appear on them at all. This was because Harry Donenfeld thought the first cover looked too ridiculous. That was until issue 7, where Superman was on the cover once more. And finally, the logo on issue 7 was consistent with the logo on the comic. Then in 1939, Superman got his own self-titled series, and the symbol finally had serifs. Then in Action Comics 26, Superman's shield evolved. Now, it had a larger presence on the costume, and for the first time, it had five sides. Then a year later, Superman's symbol was changed once more. And this symbol is what artists currently use as the symbol for Golden Age Superman. But the outer border color was inconsistent. Sometimes it was red and sometimes it was yellow. Then in 1944, national publications realized that Superman was going to be around for a while. So they trademarked his symbol. The symbol finally had the colors right, but they couldn't agree whether the bottom serif should be straight or rounded. Eleven years later, one of the most iconic Superman artists, Kurt Swan, would replace Wayne Boring, yes, Boring is an actual surname, as the penciler for Superman. Kurt Swan's version of the Superman symbol had basically the same shape, but its S was thicker and heavier. 31 years later, John Byrne took over Superman, and this version of Superman's logo was larger, wider, and straighter. This version of Superman, along with his costume and logo, were drawn consistently throughout the course of Superman history. That was until 1997. When DC thought that Superman needed another big change, five years after the industry killing death of Superman. So they basically changed the whole character, gave Superman electrical powers, and 
also a very different costume. And when there's a different costume, there's always a different symbol. This time, Superman's symbol was blue and white instead of the classic red and yellow. And in the middle, it had a stylized lightning bolt that kind of looked like an S. Then DC decided to reboot their whole universe in 2011. And Superman was affected by this and had a new armor-like costume with a sleek armor-like logo without the bottom serif. Then five years later, DC would initiate DC Rebirth. Superman had one of his best runs and his logo was changed as well. The logo kept the exact shape of the previous one but removed all of the sleek of the logo and added the lower serif. And that's the logo we have currently today. Superman symbol will probably be changed and altered in the decades to come, but its meaning and impact on the world will resonate in our comic book filled hearts then, now, and forever. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, we have two other better ones on Superman, so make sure to check those out. Anyway, um, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Please leave a rating down below whether you like this video or not, and leave all your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, that's all for today. My name is Josh C, and I will be seeing you in the next comic book video.